On May 31, 2014, 12-year-old Peyton Lutner believed she was going to the park to play with her friends Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire. However, Morgan and Anissa had been planning for months to end Peyton's life in order to please an online fictional horror character named Slender Man. The two girls genuinely believed Slender Man was real, and that in order to keep their families alive, they would have to sacrifice their friend. 12-year-old Morgan Geyser led her two friends, Anissa Wire and Peyton Lutner into the woods of Waukesha, Wisconsin. Morgan and Anissa developed an obsession with Slender Man, a fictional supernatural character. He is depicted as a thin, unnaturally tall humanoid with a featureless head and face, wearing a black suit. Morgan and Anissa had begun to plot the murder. Their obsession with Slender Man went deeper so they decided to kill Peyton in the woods. The unsuspecting Peyton followed them into the forest, where she obeyed Morgan's instructions, to lay down, and cover herself with leaves, thinking that it was all part of their innocent game of hide-and-seek. As Anissa looked on, Morgan stabbed her friend 19 times, she hit two major organs, the liver, and the stomach, and nearly stabbed Peyton in the heart as well. Morgan and Anissa left Peyton bleeding alone in the woods. With a backpack full of supplies, they were determined to go and find Slender Man to become his proxies. They left Peyton Lutner to die in the forest, but she managed to crawl out of the woods and flag down a cyclist for help. One one. What's the address of your emergency? Waukesha County Linnium transfer over a caller on Big Bend at the dead end just south of Rivera. And he came upon a 12 year old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? Correct. Okay. Sir, are you still there? Yes. Hi, sir. So, is are you with this 12 year old female? Yeah, she says she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. Stabbed multiple times? Yeah. At the hospital, doctors saved Peyton's life. The police already had Morgan and Anissa in custody. They were apprehended at furniture store after walking for about seven kilometers. The knife used in the stabbing was in a bag they carried. While Morgan was described as feeling no empathy, Anissa was described as feeling guilty for stabbing the victim. At the police station, both girls confessed their crime. In Morgan's bedroom, police found drawings of Slender Man and mutilated dolls. They also found internet searches on her computer like how to get away with murder. She was diagnosed with early onset schizophrenia and continued to hear voices in the months leading up to her trial. She also claimed that she could communicate telepathically with fictional characters like Harry Potter and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Both girls were arrested and charged with attempted first-degree intentional homicide. Anissa later pleaded guilty to a lesser charge and was found not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect. She was sentenced to 25 years in a mental health institution, but she was released in 2021. In a conditional release, she is required to live with her father, receive psychiatric treatment, and agree to GPS monitoring and limited internet access. However, Morgan's sentencing went a bit differently. She also pleaded guilty, and was also found not guilty by reason of mental disease. But was handed a sentence of 40 years in Mental Health Institute, near Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Peyton Lutner had suffered from soft tissue damage, in her arms and legs, but the two wounds on her abdomen might have been fatal, since they hit major organs. She had to undergo six hours of surgery. She survived her attack, and had gone to rebuild her life again. But it was difficult for her to trust others again, even family members.